sees it. Oh my God, we got a peacock on, guys. Oh, the whole school's coming right now. Whoa, whoa. It's over, it's over. Oh my God, he ripped the rod right out of my hands. Oh, I got him, I got him. Boom, he's right here. So you guys already see from the title of this video, so you know what's going down. I'm not the first person on YouTube to actually do a challenge video with one of these things, but the majority of the videos that I've seen, people are using bread, they're catching small panfish, small you know, invasive species down there in Miami, and I wanna go after something a little bit bigger. And I wanna fish with it with lures. I have no idea if this is even gonna work, if it's gonna be able to cast these lures or what but I'm gonna give it my best shot. There's a little lake not too far away from here that holds a lot of peacock bass, big and small. So hopefully we can catch some peacocks and then later on I'm gonna switch over to some Cinco's. Maybe we'll catch a bass or two, but I really can't wait to see what this thing can actually do or better yet, what I'm capable of with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing rigged up and see what happens. Oh my gosh, you guys, the gear ratio on this is horrendous. There's a peacock right here. I don't know how this casts or what. Okay, this is, this is not, not, we're not off to a good start. There's some peacocks right here. There's a big one. Oh my gosh, there's three peacocks right here. If I can only cast this thing, how, how is this possible? God, I probably look like such a goof right now. What do we do? How do we... I think if I can peel off enough line and cast this out, I think I can get one of these fish to eat. Okay, oh my God, they're looking at it. Okay, this is really hard. This is really freaking hard. All right, this thing's impossible. I have to get shiners. There's no way. You can't cast this. You absolutely cannot cast this. This thing doesn't have like a free spool, so, ah, oh, man. All right, we'll be right back with shiners. 20 minutes later. Oh, those peacocks are still here. All right, guys, we're back. And we've got live bait this time. Hopefully that means we can put something together here. Because you cannot cast at all. There's no way to free spool this thing, so. Damn, these are some pretty, pretty hefty sized shiners. Figures. Here we go. Got two peas right over here. I'm gonna have to let them eat it. He sees it. He sees it. Oh my God. There he goes. He's taking it. He's taking it. He's taking it. Here we go. Nope. Oh man. He just got a free meal. There's still, oh, there's two more right here. Two smaller ones. All right, I gotta put the rod in my mouth and then I'm gonna cast it. Watch, oh, the peacock's coming. Got him. We got a peacock on, guys. Oh my gosh. We got a peacock, guys, we got him. You guys, oh my God, oh my gosh, you guys, I got a peacock. Oh, yes. This little rod is doing it. All right. I think he's tired enough now. Thank you. What kind of fish is it? That's a peacock bass. 
Look at that, guys. I got him right in the top of the mouth on this little tiny rod. Wow, this guy fought really hard, too. All right, I'm going to release him over here so he doesn't spook the other peacocks. All right, buddy. Thank you for a good fight. Oh, he took right off into the tunnel. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that thing works. That was a really, really tough fight. Uh, but that guy was the perfect size too. He was the perfect icebreaker peacock. And yeah, they're definitely swimming around here. There's a real big peacock hanging out deeper. I'm gonna try and get him. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'll try. I don't know how much pressure I can put on him right now because I've got really, really light line. I do have a monofilament leader to kind of act as like a shock leader. It's got some a decent amount of stretch. Hopefully I don't get broken off, but there's they're definitely out here and I'm gonna see if I can get another one. Oh, a whole school's coming right now. I'm gonna get back to it right now. Guys, that whole school of bass pulled up. There's one pea in there, there's two. <laughs> Look at my hands shaking. Oh my god, I've got my adrenaline's pumping so hard right now. Oh my gosh, there's a big one right here. So let me peel off some line. He knows. This guy must sense this little shiner right here. And there's a big bass behind him. All right, here we go. He sees it, guys. It's over. It's over. I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, it came. Man, what happened? I don't know. I think, I think the line just broke. Oh, man. Yeah, he broke my knot. You guys see it? I don't know how well you guys can see it. Broke the knot. This is uh, an eight pound monoliter. I just had a little loop knot, but this time I'm gonna go with something slightly stronger. Uh, I mean, my go-to knot's always a San Diego jam knot. Cut that off. God, my, my hands are still shaking. I'm so freaking pumped right now. There's some largemouth bass hanging around. Let me see if I can pick off one of those guys. Oh, there he is. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, had to had the rod in my mouth. There's that big peacock. Here he comes. He's coming in for it. He's coming in for it. Oh, you're done, Shiner. You're done. Oh, it's over. Guys, it's over. Small peacock got him. Oh, largemouth got him. He doesn't have the hook in his mouth though. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna let him eat it for a couple seconds. Ready? Here we go. Got him. Oh, look at that big peacock. He's trying to get the shiner out of his mouth. Oh, that little peacock is trying to grab him. Oh my God, it's a freaking frenzy over here. Come on, dude. This guy's tiny. I could probably horse him in a little bit more. There we go. Oh, I hooked myself now. Shoot. Oh, there we go. All right, that's catch number two. Again, a little warm up for this bigger peacock that's over there, man. I'm gonna try and get him right now. Looks like my shiner's doing all the work right now. Uh-oh, look at that. Look at that peacock coming in. I don't even have to, I don't even have to cast him. Watch, here it comes, done. Many people said the story could not, must not, dare to be Ready? Don't Pressure's on now. Holy crap, he's running! We still got him? Yep, he's there, he's out there. Holy crap, whoa! Oh no, this nut's coming off, that's not good. Oh my gosh! I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. He's running. I don't know if I can bring him in. He's in the grass. I see him way out there. Wow. Oh, when he feels pressure, that's when he start, starts to run. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think we got him. I think we got him good. It's just oh, a matter of, I just got to fight him correctly. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's right here. He's right here, he's kind of stopped. Oh! Oh my gosh, this is like the hardest fight ever. 
All right, I think he's done. I'm gonna try and get him. Here we go. Oh, I got him, I got him. Yes, yes. <laughs> wow, I got him on this freaking tiny rod. Wow, I can't believe that. Look at this, look how he's barely hooked. Watch this, you guys. Barely hooked, only the barb was holding that thing in. So, all right, we upgraded, guys. Let's get this guy back in the water. And I've got some more shiners to waste, so we're gonna try and catch a bigger fish. Ooh. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I cannot believe I caught that fish. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, that was such a hard fight. I had to play that fish just right and wear him out. Oh, there's some more peacocks over here, so. And I've got a lot of big shiners. There's a real big one hanging in the deep. I'm gonna try and catch that one. If a small one comes up, I'm gonna try and pull the shiner away so he doesn't get it, but this is awesome. Let's get back at it. Oh, that was easy. Look at him peel and drag. Pressure. Oh, popped right off. I didn't have that much pressure on him. Yeah, I still got the hook. We didn't break off. All right, I'm gonna plop it right in front of this bass right here. Oh, here comes a peacock. Boom, got him. I don't know how well he's got it, but here we go. Nope. Oh, another, he dropped it and another fish picked it up. I don't know what this is. If it's fighting like a small bass. Yep, small bass. <laughs> Come here, buddy. This gear ratio is horrible on this reel. Whoa! Now he just finally found his strength. Look at that, curbside service. <laughs> Got another one, you guys. Got another one on the pen rod. All right, little dude. All right, I gotta do some maintenance on this thing. This nut keeps coming loose. I don't wanna tighten it too much. Oh, there's two of them? Okay, here we go. We're gonna get eaten in five seconds. Four, three, a little bit sooner. Ready guys? Brakes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's really hard, I gotta reel this very carefully. When the peacock decides to run. Oh, we gotta go after him. We gotta go after him. Oh, I lost a, I can lost a sandal. I'm leaving it there. You know what, I'm kicking him off. Wow! All right, this one's definitely bigger. This one's definitely bigger. All right. Guys, normally I'd be a little bit more excited than this, but I'm in a private. Oh my God, he ripped the rod right out of my hands. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, as I was trying to say, I'd be a little more excited than I am right now, you guys, but. I'm in a private community and I don't want to make too much racket. Oh, otherwise I'll get kicked out of here. This reel can't reel fast enough. Oh, popped off. Damn it. Yeah, we still got the hook. I just, for whatever reason, we just didn't get good enough penetration. I was, it's really hard to put pressure on them. This is such light line and the rod is so freaking, has such a light action. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, it's got some backbone to it, but I'm afraid it's gonna break. Here he comes. Boom. He's right here. And my rod just broke. <laughs> Did I catch that? Oh. <laughs> I think we're done, boys and girls. Oh, we're still good. Kinda. Peacocks are still there. Look, he's coming right up. He's eyeballing it. He knows. Again. Yep, the end. I can see right there in the end that it broke. Oh, man. There's only so many fish this thing could take. Well, it was only a matter of time. She didn't make it, so... Oh man, it was a decent sized peacock that it uh, snapped on. Definitely over the two pound mark, he had a nice hump. 
on the top of his head and I did what I could. Well, I got a couple more shiners left and I got my big rod in the car. So I'm gonna try and get redemption on a big peacock. I'm gonna sight cast and only pick a big one. And then, uh, and then I guess that's about it. Hey, he's still there. You know what? First peacock I'm getting redemption on is the one that freaking that broke my rod. Oh, look at the size of this thing though. Boom. He's, this is a freaking strong fish. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. Oh, barely hooked too. <laughs> how you like them apples, boy? Ooh, check out that fish, how gorgeous he is. Got that nice big hump there for the ladies. He's more of a lime green color. These are my favorite peacocks. The ones that have more of that, more of like a lemon lime color. Very gorgeous. Go tell all your other friends to come out and play. You know, this setting actually reminds me a lot of the lakes and ponds that are in Miami, like way deep down south. It's ultra clear. The, so, uh, the bottom isn't too filled with sediment, so you can walk out on top of it and, uh, and not sink down. And uh, obviously, the sight fishing is amazing. So I'm just gonna keep walking around, and I've got two shiners left, and I'm only gonna pitch those at big fish. I'm not gonna even bother with the small ones. I definitely feel blessed being able to sight fish and pick and choose which fish that I actually do catch. So I'm just gonna keep walking around, check back in with you on the next big fish. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hmm? I live in. Okay, I hear you. Um, as a matter of fact, yes. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Oh, 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 we're in trouble. There we go. Whoa. So, I will catch you later. Cops are being called on me, so it is time to leave. That fish drew some serious blood right there. Well worth it though. All right guys, that was insane. That was such a fun challenge, you know. Those fish, relative to the size of the rod, they fought so hard. I mean, you know, the biggest fish that I caught on there was like two pounds, but it was an amazing fight. How they were doing those runs and they were just, the reel was rip and drag and everything. It was super fun. I, guys, you gotta try this yourself. I've got links in the description for the rod, the line, everything that I used, definitely, Definitely try it yourself. It was so much fun. And it's real, it's cheap enough to do yourself as well. So you definitely gotta try it. But I've got another uh, challenge video coming up, very similar to the one that I did with a different type of rod and reel. Uh, so definitely hit that subscribe button. Don't miss it. I post videos every week as well. So stay tuned. Every week I'm posting new videos and I, I appreciate the support that I'm getting from everybody on Instagram, on YouTube. It, it means the world to me. So definitely thank you from the bottom of my heart. And of course, once we hit 200 subscribers, I'm going to do another giveaway just like I did at 100. So it'll be some different stuff too. So, but again, I really appreciate everybody for watching, you know, this channel is gonna be different than other YouTube channels. Once we start growing, you're really gonna see why it's different. It's not just about me. It's going to be about you guys as well. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm Eric, this is Flow Bass. I'll see you guys in next week's video. Peace out.